This video is made for adult collectors of the product and is not made for kids. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Ward Jagoon here and today we're doing an unboxing video today and well today well so far right now we have this is part four out of ten. I'm gonna say five, but yeah, that's not true. Part four out of ten, so so far we unboxed Cobalt Break. Strong Dagger deck set and the Hell's Chain deck set. Both of which let me finally being technically be able to get Shark Edge. Stock combo Shark Edge is not the proper colors for it. However, I will take what I can get. It's better than spending a hundred euros trying to get random boosters in time to get the bay. So yeah. So, what one we're going to do now? Well, we're going to do this one, so... I guess, let's get all these other ones out of the way. Out of my sight! Out of my face! Almost. So this is the one we're going to unbox today. And... And yeah, we have a Hasbro product. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I really wanted to get this Excalibur baby, or Excalibur actually, but... I really wanted to get this, just because... It's an Excalibur Beyblade, and it's the one that appears in anime. I want to I wanna get all Clutch Strike, not because I like Hasbro, fuck Hasbro, but... I want to get... Clutch Strike Beyblades because they're in the anime. And so far, I only have two Clutch Strike Bays. So far, I have a score on things, but... Yeah. So this is the... Excalius Power Speed Launcher Set. And this is off par of David vs. Quad Strike. And... Basically, this is the Sword Launcher for Hasbro done right. It took them this long. This is not the only time they released a Sword Launcher... For Hasbro. Bro, let go with my... Box to find the other one. Yeah. Last time they did a sword launcher, well, sort for Excalius. Um, I don't have the Apocalypse one, but it's the same one as this, just with the different colors. So last time they did an Excalius launcher set, which is this one. And last time they did the Excalius was. Foster Scalius, which in my opinion is actually the best Turbo Bay. It's, it's the only Turbo Bay with metal on it though. It's really red 80s. But then again, Red Hades was a Turbo Bay that was Switch Strike was. Well, Break was it Breaker Excalius, yeah. Breaker Excalius was the slingshot bay that had metal on it, so that was good. So, yeah, this one's also really useful from right here, which is I don't have the specific part to make it useful, which is G13, which is the greatest Raphael armor, which I'm not even sure is legal to use, but whatever. So, yeah, back of the box, so basically your stuff, you have, you know, this, 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 and yeah, you know this is Scalius, and I do love some Excalibur and Scalius, in fact, 
My favorite bit of burst bay is actually Sideway Scalper, and this is the house version of this. However, they completely busted it as usual. And, yeah. Let's just see how bad it gets, and also just, you know, why not? So, yeah. Let's get right to this. Let's get over the first thing about this launcher that makes this set that makes it unique. So we have the launcher, which is the Excalius launcher. It's very hard to tell which one is. Which mode? Let me actually check what fucking I know. Explaining. Oh, I think it's on the box actually. Okay, yeah. Ah, so yeah. But the symbols on here, so up one ones are for power, down ones are for speed. Now, basically, what you never want to do is pitch speed mode. Because speed mode is actually the worst one. I mean, it's there for stabil stability, but however, it just makes the bay less powerful when you launch it. So, you want to go for power mode when you're launching it. This that actually sounds good, actually. So, there's one compared half compared to the original one. The original Scalius launcher was a winder instead of ripcord, which. Yeah. And also, this thing is not as good as the, you know, the car coming version, obviously. And these are both dual spin, however, the other thing is you can actually customize this to make it even better launcher. I mean, it already has a power grip, you can add the bearing gear on it. And yeah, this is very customizable. And basically, yeah, winder. The previous Scalia launcher didn't have a, a mode change for launcher, but this one does. So yeah, I'll give them that. And hopefully, because of this drip cord, it should be less fragile than the. The string launcher that Hasbro makes because unfortunately the Hasbro string launcher is a crash. So yeah. So first of all, let's just do some comparing for this baby okay, because you know I hear I can hear the Hasbro fanboys going, "Oh, don't compare them. That's unfair." Like no, they're both on the same series and it's supposed to be the same Beyblade. If anything, the comparison I'm making is absolutely fair. So, first of all, we have the Excalius X8 core. Oh, crap. And, yeah, this thing looks like a joke. Like, the top half is perfect, the middle half is alright. Then this sort of here is just cartoon ah, sword. Whereas with this one, it didn't have a sword illustration because instead it was a metal contact. It was like if you clicked your bay, the sword will come out. Instead, they decided to change it from here to here. So, yeah. And that's because Hasbro are a bunch of lazy gobshites. I know this is not a. This is not because we don't have. Oh, we don't have money. This is literally a budget cut for the investors. And yeah. 
Look how they massacred my little boy. Look at it. That is so sad. So sad. So, yeah, alright, this is lighter than this because, you know, now. And, now next up we have Cyphoid. Uh, the shape and name is the only thing this thing has in common. Because this is... I do... I, I think this is actually smaller than... The Richard Cyborg Blade. Well, at least the sword bit is here. Because with this sword bit, it's poking out. Because basically what it is, it's basically... The best attack blade when you can get it fresh. Because combined with... Cyphoid and Xanthus, this thing will hit very hard. Instead, they have it all tucked in. The baby going to sleep at night. Also, this thing is way more fragile because with this Scally Spay, they have they have enforcements because this thing is going to be hitting hard because of the way they hope this thing is right here. And point here, this thing is actually still good for attack for Hasbro, it's just not as good as this. This thing still hits hard. Not as hard, but still hard. This isn't forced to repair. You know. Enforced to make sure the blade doesn't break when it hits very hard. Whereas this is a hollowed piece of shit that's ready to break at all times. So, yeah. Still good for attack. Is that you're gonna have to make it well compromises. Is you're gonna have to use G13, which I don't have G13, so I'm so thankfully I'll be sticking with my the car told me side like blade. The next up is the one armor and the one armor whole point was that it was in high mode. And you can tell where the point was. Basically in low mode it wouldn't line up, but it still would like put the weight in that direction. So even though it wouldn't line up in low mode, it would still put the weight in the general direction of the sword. And in high mode, it would actually line up. And it would just kind of cost the, the imbalance. Less, make the sword less useful because you know it's being blocked by the armor. Whereas this at one armor, the point is here if you can't tell. Right here. Yeah, this little nudge. And basically that's Both are supposed to line up with the ex with the Excalius core, not the Excalius blade. He's in low mode, it doesn't line up. And in high mode, it doesn't fucking align up. It's almost as if the way the cartoon designed the system was absolute trash. Like they try to do it for simplicity version. Look, it's not. Because nothing is simple as just popping it in, pop up on a kick. It in. You have to put it in, twist, and then put this in in a very specific order where you can just do this. With DB you could, and BU, you can just do whatever you order you want, and this one is just confusing. Especially when they're so different from each other. It's starting to sound like Sangu. Sangu supporter gang. The next up is Santos, and this is what Santos. Looks like for Takara Tomi, big and plastic and hard hitting and goes really well with Xanthus when it hits that middle point in the battle. Like, oh, so powerful, so strong, so almighty, piece of shit Hasbro this. It's just so disappointing, like you have this massive chunk of blade that makes Cyphoid one of the best attackers and then you have this Disappointment. Look, they even changed the alignment just so. Want to know why? So that Cyphoid would be aligned from the start of the battle, which that is very bad because the way Galius is, you don't want it to start off with the battle of this because if you. Because. Basically, if you start like this. It's, you still have good attack power, but when you do get impacted, you opponent also gets impacted, which means when you ha when you get to this point and you're both like just that close to burst, your opponent will get the worst end of it because you have the better attack. That's why it being aligned half 
during the battle rather than the start of the battle is good so that it so that it has more attack so it can keep the same consistent attack power during the entire battle. Where it is where it starts off with it starts off aligned when it hits it will lose the attack power and make it worthless in the rest of the battle. Not this you're gonna use this this anyway because what's the point in using the shitty disc when you could just use the Hasbro version over or literally any other disc for that matter any other quad strike disc because why would you use this like piece of shit like why why would you do this Hasbro ugh I'm not even gonna get into like this part this is just uh extend plus it's basically just like Suffer. So it's attack power, but it's not you know, as good as. Yeah. So but now next up is sword and yeah, metal pokey. But they have to make it more hypersphere and this is why I think this is this is an all right job of it. I mean, sure it's not metal. Yeah, it's only going to be slightly heavier than this because you know. But no, I doubt that because this one is definitely going to be heavier. It's alright, but let's yeah, put both base together. And here we have it. This is Xander's last Beyblade and Beyblade Burst. This is why it is, this is what it could have been. This is why I think Beyblade Burst BU should have had an anime so that they you know, uh. The only good thing I'll give is that the sword's fully painted. Unlike this one where the bomb half's not painted. But that's the only good thing about this. You know, aside from the uh, just Ugh. But yeah, I'm done comparing. Just gonna show you what Launcher and this baby can do. Have uh, this stadium here, which yeah. Let's just see how good this launcher is. This one goes. Is it Goshu? Should have said that letter, but. Just. That's alright, I guess. Let's see, let's see how well my other launcher can launch it. My. Bay launcher. I mean, I guess Hasbro doesn't want to release this, but eh, it's good for what it is, I guess. So, Yeah, I would do test it up without the tip, but I just don't feel like doing it. Out of spite! So... Yeah, gonna leave it here for today. Well, well, not today, for now. For now. So, yeah. This is... 
my fourth unboxing, four out of ten. Yeah, I still have a lot more things to unbox, just, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's videos, yeah, um, see you all later or next time, or whatever, yeah. Anyway guys, if you guys enjoyed, if you missed it, hit that thumbs like button, want to see more, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, watch my socials, hit the Discord, all my stuff, links in the description, there's signs, Eve stuff, guys, if you're more watching here, signing out.